Okay, so we got this Honda Accord and uh, one of my viewers had no heat. And those of you got this Honda Accord here, let me just put this up. And I wanna show you guys something. So the first thing I will tell you to do is uh, make sure your car is nice and cold. When it's cold, I want you to open this cap slowly, okay? My car is hot, so it's probably gonna shoot up a little bit of pressure. But if you, if you let the car sit for a couple of hours, it should be nice and cold. And you should be able to see antifreeze in there, first of all, okay? You see that? Antifreeze. If I squeeze this pipe, all I'm doing is squeezing that pipe. And the antifreeze. If you don't see the antifreeze in there, fill it up with antifreeze. Don't put water in it. So to put this cap back in, you just put, gently squeeze it down and turn it, okay? Same way you take off, okay? Make sure it's nice and closed. And uh, the valve that I was telling this uh, of, um, viewer of mine, this is the valve we're looking at, okay? So, if you see this, you see how this is, uh, you see the angle that it's in right now? If you see this, this blue cable here, let me bring that camera closer a bit. Okay, so, this blue cable, if you turn the knob to heat, this cable should push this wall over here, okay? You see how the angle is here? I want you to pay attention to the screw in the center right there. That screw should turn with this valve. Okay, my valve, my blender is bad inside, so I'm having issues with that, but I do have heat because I turned it manually. But if you turn the knob, just to confirm that your blender motor is working, you, if you turn the knob to heat, this should, okay, if you put it on cold, this should be here, a little bit more further. If you put it on heat, this should turn right here, okay? So that's what we're looking at. So have somebody turn the knob, uh, temperature up and down, okay? And make sure the screw in the center there, it turns with it, okay? When you this turns, when this whole arm turns, the screw turns with it. If the screw does not turn with it, you have a bad valve, okay? So what I want you to do is, pretty much that's what I want you to check, okay? Make sure you check that valve. If you have, if this thing, if somebody is turning the knob inside and this thing is turning back and forth on its own, that means good, your blender is working. If if it's stuck here, right here, standing straight up about, almost like a, about, um, this is like, what well, maybe, I don't know how many degrees is that, I'm not good with degrees. So it's pretty much standing up straight right now. Now let me put the camera lever closer. You see how it's standing up straight, that rocker arm? And, uh, if you put it to heat, this should turn back down this way and make sure the screw turns with it as this turns, okay? So if that this thing is moving, that means your blender motor is good. That's the motor inside that opens the flap to heat and AC. So sometimes that blender motor will go bad. It will be stuck on, on AC, so it's gonna give you cold air. Plus, it's not gonna release hot antifreeze going into the system, okay? So it's not very common for the heater cores to go bad on these vehicles unless nobody ever flush the coolant and they put water in it or if they put a leak stopper in it. Those are no, no, you never put a leak stopper in these vehicles. Anyways, um, the simply thing what I wanted you to do was check that, okay? And uh, I know uh, this viewer of mine, uh, she had a, um, she made a small video and uh, she had a eh, eh, noise which was coming from this power steering pump. There's an O-ring in here. If you're having power steering issues, you might want to look into that. And uh, I am going to be doing a video on that. Anyways, thank you for watching. And uh, let me know, update me once you watch my video. And let me know, or, or do me a favor, have somebody turn the temperature up and down. Pretty much, I don't know, if you have, this is an EX model. So it has a dual, it has a heat, heat temperature for the driver's side and passenger side. But if you don't have an EX model, you probably got the knob to turn into uh, heat or cold. So turn that knob. That's the knob that's going to control this to turn the heat uh, to hot and cold, okay? That's the knob controls that controls the blue cable. Mine's I was able to turn it by hand. You're not going to be able to... Okay, you know what? Let me explain to you um, one more thing. Since my motor is disconnected, my blender motor is disconnected. I do have a video on that. I will send you a link a little bit later on that. So my blender motor, which is inside the vehicle, is, is damaged, it's broken, it's not working. That's the reason why I wasn't having heat on this vehicle. And that's the reason, since it's disconnected, I'm able to turn this thing manually by hand. You're not gonna be able to do that by hand. Even if you are able to do that by hand, 
that doesn't mean your blender motor inside is gonna release hot air to go inside so you do need to confirm does it move on its own okay very simple just turn the knob to heat AC have somebody do it while you're looking at that and you can probably make a video and let me see what it's doing that and let me see what they're doing inside turning the knob temperature up or down put it to like almost like a max high or low and um, let's see what happens anyways thank you